Ada from Poison Drop. Thanks as always for following us. Today we are with Olaf, Olaf from uh, Enforcer. I want to start straight with, the, uh, not straight, just for the first question asking, uh, why are you Olaf? Hi, how are you? Pretty good. We are dealing with all the shit around us, but it doesn't matter because we have to stay strong and uh, keep it through and uh, move forward, like to say it. Oh, and yeah. for us, uh, yeah. Where, where are you from, by the Italy. way? Uh, I'm from Italy. the deepest south, Sicily, yeah. Oh, the gotcha. south yeah. of Italy, yeah. So, yeah, we, have, we are good at the moment uh, in compared to the rest of the Europe. Yeah. And, yeah, so speaking about Enforcer, which is one really great band uh, for me personally, about my taste. Being a heavy metal, so it's a heavy metal band, like the classical metal. I want to start to ask you how the band started. I know that it started in 2004, so just less introduction of the band and how Enforcer started. Well, very briefly, I, I and uh, we used to play in a lot of like death metal, thrash metal bands before and somehow, you know, you just want to seek the roots of everything, I think, then that's like seeking the roots of, of metal that were around us led to, you know, the, you know, discovering more, more, more classic heavy metal, uh, yeah. I guess, like, we used to do a lot of covers at that point and we, we you know, we, we did covers from bands such as Exciter and Venom and stuff like that. And it was kind of, you know, in our teenager years, it was kind of natural for, for me at that time to just like, to to develop that instead of go further into extreme yeah. metal, which most of the other people were doing. Because I always felt that it was so much more energy into energy and musicianship it's just so much more like contrast and dynamics in in heavy metal compared to extreme yeah. metal you know yeah so, i completely uh, agree with you yeah 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 so so that's kind of how it started um yeah and regarding the other members of the band of course introducing them introduce as well the other guys yeah i mean we enforcer started as my as my one man band and I think once we got some, I recorded everything by myself on the first demos and on the first, like the first years. But once we started to get some recognition, uh, it was uh, we started to uh, I started to like see some interest from from friends and and people around to, to you know to join this band and yeah. they figured it was pretty cool. You know, first at first it was very much like it was uh, like yeah sure that's never going to be anything. But when we saw that. We actually started to like we, we passed our our previous local bands like by far getting so much more attention from doing this so it was just like yeah so so within a very little time I, I had like we, we we managed to take this from like a one-man studio project to an actual band where everybody was very dedicated to do what yeah what was expected but that's great. So basically, because I I read that it was uh, there was a change of lineup as well, some members about some members. Yeah, we had plenty of lineup changes throughout the years. Um, yeah. And today's lineup is we. Um, well, it's more or less has been like circling the lineups been around me and my brother. Okay. Um, like I think. My brother and I are the only members who have been on all oh, so the... all our studio albums. But also, it's like um, different members have have like contributed like differently to different albums, and that's why they sound different. I guess. Uh, that's great. Anyways, yeah. So, so since you're, you're, the band is from like in, in 2004, and uh, the first uh, the debut album which the night was released in 2008, there are four years. In these four yeah. years, you were you were speaking about some demo. So I think you released some demo some some demo stuff or something like that before the first album. So what about this first works? You can say. I think the first the first the very early works was just like we didn't really we were like I think like the first generation bands who never really did any physical demos. Everything was released on the internet and we broke yeah. through on. on on a platform called MySpace back then. 
Yeah, and that's I remember. How we started I remember to, that, yeah. uh, and that's how we started to gain attra- like attention in the metal world. Yeah. So it was a lot about like releasing songs online yeah. back then. Yeah, that was then as well as. Sorts of things that you could also put the songs of the band that you like on your profile. It was something different yeah. back then. Yeah. Yes, yes. And yeah, but uh, it, it, yeah. it, it did the trick, you know. Yeah, it yeah. Worked out. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and what about the first album to the night? So that's, it was of course an album. I mean, I want to know. I would, I would like to know what is the you know the topic, the the composition about this album especially. Um, I mean, I was just 20 years old when we released that album. Um, so it was like a juvenile record. It's a very like youthful, I, I still like the songs, but I mean, we simply totally no budget album, you know, so uh, yeah, we didn't really know how to do things either. So it was just like, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I still like the songs. Uh, I think it's it was also like one of the first. I mean, heavy metal have had been existing somehow in the underground, but I think that was like the first, the first new generation heavy metal album who got attention from uh, from yeah. bigger labels, which was really cool. Yeah, you know, it was like we were, uh, you know, we all of a sudden we were like the. The poster boys for a new generation of heavy metal, which was really, really cool, actually. Yeah, because heavy metal was like it wasn't played so much, but never it was played so much after, like I was saying before, the biggest, would say, the icon. Yeah. Because most of the most of the new generation, our and later, I was they were going straight for the extreme metal. Yeah, extreme metal or shit. That yeah. Was stuff that was popular in 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 the early. Yeah. Chinese, yeah, 2000. Yeah, 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 yeah I agree. It was yeah. like a lot of rap metal and stuff like that, and that was, you know, you, we just wanted to be the total opposite of that. Yes, and it's important brings you know that the roots of the of the music, we can say, spread is still today because I think every teenager should start with the roots. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, of course, and that, that that's what what led to the creation of the band. But I still yeah. think that you know, it's still been very important for me always to. To not copy anything, but to no, take no, no. inspiration from the roots, but rather, yeah, I like to see it somehow that we 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 when 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 stuff started to develop in the early '90s into like ridiculous type of of genres that we go back and we make it right. We develop metal, heavy metal, the way it was supposed to be developed, instead of into like all yeah. types of crazy other genres. Yeah, like a copy of some other bands. Mm. But you did it, don't worry, because since I've heard even opinion from other fans and other even musical reviewers are just a little bit about enforcers. So then um, the album 2010, uh, this Diamond. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the first album that you, um, with Diamond, you are uh, you're signed with the label. Uh, no, the previous one was also with a label. Okay, okay. So basically, uh, working with the label, uh, you see some changes in the composition by producing music by yourself, of course. Um, the, the difference was that we all of a sudden, because our first album had like made such an impact, uh, so the difference was that we could work with a decent budget on the second album. Okay. We, can work with, we could work with people who knew, who, like, knew how to capture, like, like like a recording of the band in a, in a in a more professional way. Yeah, and this and and Diamond, you think it's an album that uh, has some has some different respect to the first one, because we can say that this album brought you even all, all around the world in the United States. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there is I, some. I I don't think if I don't think that's much of a musical thing. Maybe it bring, brought a little bit more diversity, but it was just that you know at that time it was the tip of everybody's tongue, mm-hmm. and uh, so so it was like the timing was was really right and even like even more commercial, mm-hmm. like 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 the more commercial side of the industry had got up their eyes for the band, which was like. It was um, it was a good timing for us to release the second album, but 
I don't think it's I don't think the second album is necessarily better than the first one. I think they're rather the same, but it was it was a better it was a great timing. Yeah, and we and had a great momentum at that time. Yeah, of course I don't want to go, you know, like analyzing each album no, of no, course. No. But of course the the album like the, the Fire from Young and um, then Zenith. It just me for making like for example sh if I'm a new fan and I never saw and for in my life. And even just never listen. But of course I want to know more about the band. Which album do you would like to advise to maybe catch the sound and the soul of the band? I don't know. I think that you can go with pretty much any other album. It's, yeah. I think they're, I mean, they're, they're all in a very similar type of style. Okay. Style-wise, they're, they're built up a similar way and, and you know, they have similar like tempos and similar yeah, vibe to them. So yeah. I, I don't think it's, I think you can pretty much go into any album. Yeah. Like as an artist, I prefer the later albums than the earlier albums because that's, they are more in line with what we, um, what I have in mind. You know? So it's more like more you see like sort of what I'm saying, um, a process of uh, growing from the first album till the end, to to the last one. I don't know if it's about growing. It's about that you know you, like a couple of years into this, this career. I think that we by now I'm much I'm better. Yeah. with you know getting things where i want them you know yeah. in the, like in the beginning was much by so much more by chance you wrote 10 songs and you were lucky if two of them were good now i know how to make good songs and the same with sound you know you did 10 recordings and you were if one sounded good it, it was more luck than you know yeah. so yeah, it was yeah, more yeah. of a lot of that kind of things, but now, like, like now, a higher percentage of what I do turns out to be exactly the way I intend them to be. So, yeah, of course. Yeah, but you know, you know, the lyrics that um, there are in the in the, in the in the albums. There is one man message that you try to share, or it's just like writing about I don't know what's just passed through the the the, the, the mind or living through the life. There is I no specific that, topic, I mean. No, we're, we're not the thematic band in that okay. type of way. It's more, I think that we cover a lot of different, like, a lot of different things yeah. in our lyrics, but just encourage, <laughs> encourage, like, energy, violence, and, you know, stuff like that, you know, things that makes you go crazy, just like yes. metals, yeah. you know? Yeah, of course, like, yeah. is, we're speaking about heavy metal, so. Yeah, that's the the, the the base. That's the the, yeah. the roughest things. And yeah. just before we're going to speak about the the, the present and the influences, I wanted to ask you if uh, what do you think, and if you think if there is a, a current uh, um, heavy metal scene in, in uh, Europe and all, all around the world, because uh, the heavy metal scene, scene we can say uh, is a, like always the historical band, but you see new bands coming out from like the heavy metal. Um, genre um, what I think about the heavy metal scene in general in Europe yeah in, in general in Europe and if you see uh, other bands you know coming out new bands about playing heavy metal just not going well not so much these yeah. days uh, I mean I think that there was a lot of there was like an explosion of bands between let's say 2010 to 2000. Yeah. 13 maybe and where a lot of you know these bands started out um, a lot of good stuff came out in that you know between those years I think but I don't see right now that so many bands in, in young bands in Europe are coming out in this style you know it was a bubble back then and um, and I think kids you know look at something different today so is it a scene yeah i think it's a pretty solid scene for traditional metal in europe in general but uh I, but I, ca I can also see that there's like you know there's in a lot of other places in the world who has a better regrowth of bands uh, now for example maybe maybe south america it seems like they're like pumping out young bands 
like very dedicated, similar to what happened in Europe in maybe in maybe 2010. Yeah, and since you, of course you tour as band uh, playing gigs, there are some there is a particular moment that um, a memory that um, you would like to share. It's, it it could be like you know this funny moment. Uh, I, a good I moment. Taking, I have a hard time like picking out one memory. You know, I spent 11 years touring, and a lot of stuff happened during those years. It's been a lot of ups and downs, lots of good shows, lots of bad shows. But you know, yeah. Of course, uh, they bring you here, so I think I never regret about the best choice. Yeah. 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 And speaking about influences. Yeah. Of, of course, at first I will go through enforcer influences and then into your personal influences. So, yeah. speaking about the enforcer influences, which are? Which are? Should I tell you what yeah. my influences are? Like the, music ab or about or about or? enforcer, just at the band, which has the main influences of enforcer, and then we go speak about you. There are two two hard, hard questions about that. I think it's the same. I think whatever inspires me also inspires the band. Yeah, the band. So it's like kind of similar. But you know, when we started a band, you know, you when you put the foundation of what was gonna be like the foundation of the band, there was a lot of like I guess new wave of British heavy metal stuff, Iron Maiden, Venom, yeah. Exciter, Early Metallica, yeah. shit like that. Yeah. But yeah. I mean. That's when you build the band, but then you when, when once once you know you're once you're once you're confident in, um, in what the band is and what it sounds like, you know you got you start to bring in all all kinds of stuff. You know everything that you hear pretty much influences me. Yeah. Everything that I read, everything that I see, you know it could be anything. You know stuff that I've been putting into enforcer. Could be anything from like chart music to to baroque music or to jazz fusion you know everything, everything you know? it's yeah. like to to i you know it, it's literally everything that i listen to you know i think music is i mean a good song is a good song and then you can make it sound any i mean i'm, I'm pretty sure that we could make like a we could make jazz versions or classical versions or pop versions of any or country versions of any enforcer song. It's all about the production and how you package it and how you market it. You yeah, know, of course. At the end, it's only about good songs, and good songs are always good songs, and it can be at least, you know, inspired by it. Yeah, of course. But now it's a like uh, all the time. It's like a tricky question because uh, it's to to know more about your musical influences as I mean, just whole of just not the singer, but. Oh. If uh, we, we want uh, to pick up, just uh, you can choose if to pick up or five album that has been an influence to you, or choose a five artist. Just to you since you were just a kid or still today. It doesn't have to be metal for every type of music. Uh, well, uh, like, I guess like everything that I listened to as a kid still has like a pretty big impact I would say on me yeah in a nostalgic way and it also like to build yeah. my sense for music and for my sense for yeah for anything and it could be anything that that inspired me as as, as a kid like Rolling Stones Metallica That's great. Um, Europe Ingve Malmsteen um, yeah like and, and if you go further, you know stuff like yeah, I don't know Aldi Miola, Eric Johnson, um, like Scott Henderson, uh, guitar players, uh, or like Bach or Vivaldi or you know. You can, you know, can just go yeah. today. Yeah. We can say really classic music like yeah. Say we're speaking really classic uh, old music, ancient music still. Yeah. But of, of course, Ardi is the more immortal music. There is no all the new, and about no. uh, still the music of today. This is a good thing because, of course, I think it made you with a really huge, I can see view opening about the the music culture. Just yeah. not looking for listening to a certain type of music and just do that. 
just opening. And uh, um, if you would like, for example, because especially, uh, like I was saying, since you are from a, a, a band that can, with a classical sound, but of course unique sound as well, uh, if there are outside, for example, you know, just kids, just of course we always talk about new generations. There are, for example, starting to play an instrument or singing and putting a band together, and then maybe are scared to uh, to play a genre like um, our heavy metal because, of course, to say, of course, heavy metal is all, all written. We have to go with the new music, you can say with, with, with the new sound. But they would like, for example, to play the type of heavy metal. What would you like to say to them just to encourage those guys to follow what they want? Wow. Heavy metal is nothing that belongs to the past, it belongs to the future. You That's can, great. if you're, I mean, a lot of bands, of course, like the, the, the foundation of the style was put in, in, in the 1970s, but I mean, yeah. if you want to look, out, look up more contemporary bands, there's tons of them. And also, like, heavy metal is by far the most energetic and also the coolest yeah. subgenre of metal. I mean, it's, uh, it's the beginning. You know, yeah, it's not the it's 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 not the beginning. It's everything, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's I think that heavy metal is a billion times more extreme than any death metal in the world. So you're you're right. You get it right. Yeah. 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 So the and, and what about the the, the the we can say the the current project? There is uh, something that you're working on. Or there is something about some lives that you are booked already. Of course, something that you can speak about. Um, what have we coming up? Well, we have, you know, a lot of live stuff for next year. I think it's what's what's you know what's uh, what we're working on right now, and also new songs. I'm not sure that I will make another full album. But releasing songs, um, we'll see. I mean, it's 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 a little bit up to the market, yeah, and a little bit up to what's what happens. But I'm I'm you know I, I have no rush to put out the sixth album. Really, I think that somehow, yeah. you know, because I don't think there's any time pressure right now. No. It doesn't matter if we put out. It doesn't matter if we put it put it out this year or next year or whenever. I mean. I'm just excited to put out songs and write songs, and that's that's. Yeah, when it comes it's naturally, spontaneously, without yeah. Uh, pressure. Yeah, you're completely yeah. right. So, before ending the interview, if you just want to give a message to the Enforcer fan and our followers as well, and 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 thank you so much for the interview, Olaf. It was really a pleasure, oh, and uh, I wish you to all the best, Enforcer. Thank you. Well, to. Uh, Everybody who's watching this, I hope we get to see you next year somehow. Even like either live or either in some other context. Um, heavy great. metal is everything. So thank you so much. Have a nice holidays and see you soon in some lives, I hope. And uh, wish you all the best. So thank you. Thank uh, you so much. can say bye. Bye.